so today's video all about transgenic animals so in animal we will just consider first of all mice okay so the one method for what is the what is transgenic animal so we will introduce a transgene transgene of our own choice which is normally doesn't belong to that organism so we will introduce this transgene into that specific organism and express it and see the phenotypic changes so this is the transgenic animal concept so there are so many methods so in this video we will discuss one method which is retroviral retroviral vector method so method so what is retroviral vector method so we will use a virus actually a retrovirus to be precise to introduce a transgene a transgene into my mouse so first of all remember one thing the retroviral dna that means they have a genetic material of rna and we will introduce this transgene not directly rna into rna so we, what you have to do to rep make it RNA to DNA via reverse transcriptase. You all know that these are basic concepts. Then the double stranded DNA, and we will make a cut site and introduce that transgene into that retroviral replicative form. Okay, replicative form means the DNA in that case, which is double stranded, obviously double standard we will introduce that transgene at first in the dna then in the next generation the complementary dna strand will be go through becoming an rna becoming rna transcription transcription and become rna and again in became a virus obviously a virus so now this virus is actually now a helper virus how it is a helper virus that means that helper virus helps transforming or not don't use the word transforming uh, helps to carry that transgene which is doesn't belong to either retrovirus or that uh, transgenic animal so this is choice of ours we include that transgene in from to the dna and transcribe it into RNA and then pack into virus that RNA virus that traitor virus and now this virus actually indirectly contain this transgene so this transgene is incorporated into the retroviral genome retroviral genome now the retroviral genome we will uh, retroviral genome actually we will infect this mice 8 cell 8 to 16 cell you can say 8 to 16 cell embryo stage i think you know that what is this called it is called morula 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 stage will infect this infect this morula with that helper virus which is containing the transgene retroviral that is a retrovirus will infect that morula and and at first I'm, I'm just elaborating it we will isolate some morula infect with this helper virus containing the transgene and implant it implant this morula we will infect that i'm writing it infect infect helper virus infect this morula and implant it into a pseudo pregnant mouse i think you know that what is pseudo pregnancy means if you don't know i will discuss it later pseudo pregnant mouse and implant in the pseudo pregnant mouse it means that implant into the endometrium layer endometrium layer of uterus okay now this morula became mature and they will produce some transgenic 
will produce some transgenic genic mouse which will have the phenotype phenotype of our interest our interest because why i'm telling this because the transgene is totally depend on our choice this is the laboratory method so this is the basic idea of retroviral vector method in the next video i will discuss totally depend on that uh, specific virus which is called lentiviral vector detailed genome study with this transgenic animal so this is it for that video